What's up everyone? All right, so finishing the morning here up $14,955.69, $26,000 in two days. That is a great start to the month of April. I'm excited. I love it. And this is how quickly the tide can change. On Thursday, I only made $585 and then boom, Monday morning, great opportunity, SLS right off the watch list and a big winner. Today, that for me was another big win. Uh, it was a continuation setup, watching for the break over previous day's high. So $26,000 here, two days in. Right now, this is the uh, 58th trading day of 2018 for me, and I'm averaging $3,000 a day. I'm loving it. So hopefully April is going to be a really strong month. This is obviously a really good start. So uh, we'll see where it goes from here. But we'll break down all of today's trades in today's midday market recap. What's up, everyone? All right, so we're going to do our uh, midday market recap. What a day. Another really big day. This is uh, one of the biggest days of the year here, finishing the morning up. Uh, I'll, dra I'll drag up my uh, PL up uh, $14,955.69. You can see it right here. Uh, this is. I mean, an amazing start to the month of April. It's really fantastic. So we're going to write it down here. 58th trading day of 2018 plus $14,955.69 plus 11000 yesterday is $26,000 in two days. Not bad at all. So tomorrow my account's going to be uh, right up around $100,000. Uh, well, 103,000, 104,000, somewhere around there, and you know that's that's a big step forward from 20 from 75,000, uh, you know, on Friday to 103,000, uh, you know, on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. So, uh, just loving that momentum. It really, it's funny how quickly the tide can change. On uh, Thursday last week, uh, it was a really slow day for me. I only made. Uh, like $585, actually forgot to write down in my calendar here. So it was plus 585 on Friday, or on, th on Thursday, on Wednesday it was plus 6K, and on Tuesday it was plus 2,000. So uh, a couple of you know decent days last week, it was a little slow, and then boom, Monday morning we were watching SLS, that was the one that was right on the watch list, and I took a trade on it um, uh, yesterday morning. So that was the first trade yesterday. Now, today we were watching SLS for continuation, and you can see I've got $10,800 profit on that name. So I was watching it in this, I was watching this sort of box here. We had 924 as the high, and we had uh, 788 as the low. Now, I was not super interested in buying it when it was like in between the box. I was really looking for it to break out. As soon as I started to see it squeeze right here on this candle, I jumped in. I took 10,000 shares uh, at 880, 883, 885, and added it 921, and sold half at 994. So that was a full dollar per share, you know, right there, 5,000 bucks. And then uh, that was on the squeeze here up to, let's see, uh, all the way, we, geez, we went all the way up to 10.53, which is really quite something. So I uh, sold half there, sold a quarter more at 9.78, sold, added a little bit at 9.89, added more at 9.90, 9.99, I sold. So starting to scalp it a little bit more aggressively, but really it was that first trade with 10,000 shares, about 80 cents, 85 cents per share, $8,500. And boom, that was a big, big win on the day. Now I already had a $742 cushion uh, from BPTH. This one was on our um, on our uh, Gap scanner this morning. I took a small scalp. Well, it was 10,000 shares, but a, a small scalp in terms of cents per share, in at uh, 96, anticipating the break over three dollars. We broke three. We hit a high of 309, and then rejection. But it was enough for a winner. In at 96, out at 304. So small little scalp there, 740 bucks. Uh, so I had a cushion, used that to be aggressive on SLS on the first trade. And then uh, we had MYND. MYND was uh, kind of a little bit of a funny move. It had this gap, it sold off, and then it squeezed up and was halted. That was uh, right here. It was halted at 
240 something, 246. It resumed from the halt at a low of 260. And so I jumped in this one at, uh, let's see, 281, 294, added at 303, sold half at 312, a quarter more at 312, added back at 311 and 312, sold at 335, 352, added at 351, sold at 363. So, you know, ended up being a, a pretty nice big move there from th from 246 up to 372. So for that one, I got $3,401 with 88 cents. And, uh, you know, with that, I was up 15,000 on the day, just about. So a couple little scalps on SLS later on, but nothing really big. The, the one that I missed, which I, I was kind of being a little bit cautious here on this first candle to make a new high. I looked at that and I thought, you know, I'm a little iffy on buying at 68 here, 968, 969, because this candle dropped all the way down to 917. It felt like a little bit of a flush and it just made me a little iffy about buying it right in this area. But, uh, or sorry, it was, um, where was it? It was back in this area here. But you know, it ended up working out really well and it popped from 969 all the way up to a high of 1076. And so again, with 10,000 shares, that could have been another $8,000 winner. I mean, that could have been, um, that could have been awesome. It then pulled back. I got in here at not at, sorry, 1060 for the break over this level and scalped it up through 1109. My best exit was $11, nine cents off high of day. So not bad. You know, it's one of those things we talked about yesterday. You may not capture the top and bottom of every move, but when you have moves that are this big, even if you do only get, you know, a fraction of it from there to there is 70 cents. And from there to there, you know, you're getting another, you know, 40, 50 cents. So these are really nice big winners. And uh, fortunately today I was able to capitalize on them, be a little aggressive on the share size and $15,000 a profit. It's not the best day I've ever had. Uh, you know, best day is over 40 grand. So it's not the best day ever, but it's a good day and uh, it certainly is nice to have a couple of back-to-back -back big green days at the beginning of the month. You know, if we continue to have a month like this, you know, it could be really incredible. But inevitably there will be a point in the month where things do slow back down for small caps and, you know, it's back to the way it was on Thursday making $500 and then, you know, that's it. And the thing with Thursday is that I took a trade and made $5,000 and... Uh, or sorry, I made, I took a trade and made $500 and, and that was just, it was like there was one trade, one opportunity. It didn't really work out that well. And then there was nothing else for the rest of the day, nothing else that looked good. So I just sort of said, you know, I, I guess, I guess that's it. And that's what happened. That's what happens on slow days. It's not necessarily that you're losing money or that trades like this, you're screwing them up. It's that we don't see these opportunities at all. So when you have them, you really want to be able to capitalize on them. And I encourage you guys just to study, rewatch the live examples of these trades. Look at what I'm, what I'm looking at, what I'm reading on the level two, what's making me press the buy button, watch it in slow motion. And, you know, really just try to understand how I was able to do it. And, um, you know, the goal is for you to just keep practicing, get better and better and better, and uh, get to the point where you can be trading these ones side by side with me. I see David said he made $68,000 yesterday. Uh, SLS was obviously a massive, a massive mover. Uh, there was another student that made $100,000 yesterday. And I think he made another 25,000 today. So these are some pretty big amounts of money to be making. But you know, when you have a stock that goes from $8 to $11 uh, today and yesterday from $5 to $10, it's, it's not unthinkable to have really big wins. These are huge moves. I mean, this is the thing is like you don't even often see a move this big on thickly traded stocks like, you know, even a Facebook may not move this much in a day. And so for a stock priced at this five, six dollar price range to make this type of move, if you've got money, you can take some big size of it and you can really, uh, you know, lock up some big wins. So anyways, uh, be interesting to see what this SLS does here uh, this afternoon. If it continues to go higher, squeeze over 11. You know, it's 
it's curling, it's consolidating. It is on light volume, so a little bit of a you know caution there, but it seems strong. So anyways, I, I made my money on it. I'll be done with it today, but can always get back in it uh, tomorrow if it's still holding up. So in the last two days, I've taken 16 trades and had um, 15 winners. Only one loser. It's a one, one loss today, about $675. So loving that accuracy, great momentum, good start to the month, and uh, you know hopefully it continues. This is the thing. Now, if you're a short seller, you're trading the, the opposite side of these, you're gonna start feeling a little nervous about shorting the next stock that pops up because maybe it does squeeze up like SLS uh, or M Y, uh, what was it, M Y N D. You know maybe it does squeeze up like this. Now this one's pulled back a little bit, so you know it didn't hold its level super well, but certainly in here. I would have been scared holding this to the short side if it squeezed from two to three seventy-five, and I was still holding it short. Yeah, so it's this might be starting a next round of uh, hot momentum after just a couple of uh, slow days. So, anyways, it's just about getting in, capturing your profit, and getting back out. Uh, I'm over half a million dollars in my account that I started with five hundred eighty-three dollars uh, back in January of two thousand seventeen. Half a million dollars of profit. My average winners are only 18 cents per share. They're not big winners. Yeah, I'll have a winner like this that's a dollar per share with 10,000 shares, and obviously that boosts my average. And I'll have a lot of winners that are only, you know, two or three cents per share. So, you know, it, it averages out, but 18 cents average. You don't have to be always swinging for the fences. You can go for those small wins. They will pay your bills, uh, and, and you can do really well with an 18 cent average gain. All right, so I'm sure Mike's average winner is probably like, you know, 75 cents or something like that because he's trading those higher price stocks. But, uh, you know, there's obviously more than one way to be a successful trader. But for me, just getting in, capturing my profit, getting back out. Like I said during Inner Circle seminars, my max risk for me is the moment I'm full size until the moment I've sold half. That's when I've got most the most risk on the table. And once I've sold half, when I'm up 15, 20, 30 cents, I'm in the driver's seat. And if I do get lucky, you know, I get into, into a stock like SLS and it squeezes up a full dollar before I start to see weakness and decide to sell half, then, you know, those just uh, add some icing to the cake. So anyways, that's it for me here uh, this morning. Another solid day of trading, $15,000. So happy about that. And time to go spend some of that money on lunch. Probably get like a little Caesar salad. So $14, $15, and uh, the rest I'll just keep. That'll be that. All right, so anyways, we'll be back at it first thing uh, tomorrow morning, pre-market analysis around 9, 9.15. All right, see you guys in the morning. If you're still watching, you must have really enjoyed that video. So why not subscribe and get email alerts anytime I upload new content? Remember, when you subscribe, you become a member of the Warrior Trading family.